So I just got home from my IVIG infusion. Um, I had got 300 milliliters and it was done over six hours. She said um, it was 15, 30, 60. Like the infusion rate was 15 milliliters per hour and then 30 milliliters per hour and 60 milliliters per hour. It's actually half of the manufacturer's recommendation I think on the infusion but my doctor specified that um, so there wouldn't be uh, side effects and stuff like that mainly um, I did want to get it slower the first time because I just didn't know what to expect um, but she told me the nurse had told me to let her know in a couple days like next week um, how I'm doing like if I got any kind of flu like symptoms or whatnot um, after and if not maybe increase it a little bit each time where maybe the next infusion is five hours long um, <clears throat> in the beginning with the slow rate uh, didn't really feel uh, too much but <laughs> I don't know if it was the fluid or the stuff I was getting through the IV or because I drank a lot of water but I was using the bathroom like crazy in the beginning when I first started the infusion um, more than even the day before when I was drinking a lot of water so it kind of didn't make sense but I don't know why but I was also drinking water at the same time to try to stay hydrated so um, I watched a movie uh, I actually watched two movies during the whole thing but um, in the beginning um, it was okay I could kind of feel when it went up, like I could kind of tell um, uh, a little bit of my arm started to feel tight. Um, and then I kind of just loosened my shirt because my shirt they had up because I got the IV here in my hand and my shirt was up. So I didn't know if like maybe it was cutting circulation off. So then I brought it down and kind of like massaged the area and um, it got better. Um, the actual injection site of where the IV was, it kind of had a little bit of pain. Um, and then later towards, I guess, halfway through, I got like really tired. So, uh, I took a nap in the middle of the movie. I just kind of uh, took a nap in and out. They would come in and do the vital signs every so often. So, um, I'd wake up for that and then, uh, watch the movie for a little while. And then towards the end, I really got tired. Like I, for the last hour, I kind of just wasn't fully sleeping but I kind of took a nap like I my eyes were closed I was kind of like in and out um so I don't know um I didn't take Benadryl and a lot of people take that uh, which makes you tired so for me it had to be the actual uh IV that was making me tired I took Allegra before I went for the allergies because that's normally what I take for regular allergies I get because it's a stronger um one and I didn't want to take Benadryl because I don't like to be out of it and when I got there, she told me the only one that doesn't work for this is Allegra. And um, I couldn't take, I said, well, I have Claritin, can I take that? And they said, no, because, you know, you can't take them back to back or something. And but I could take Benadryl if I wanted, but um, I kind of just let that go out. But I did not have the Tylenol, so um, I didn't take that yet when I got there. So then I just, they told me to take Tylenol as well. So I just took the Tylenol because um, I don't like to take too much medicine. So I took Allegra, which supposedly doesn't work at all for this um, IVIG, and then I took Tylenol, and I didn't have any major symptoms. I could kind of feel a little bit in my head, um, very little, not enough to call it a headache, but I can maybe like almost like sinus pressure starting. That's kind of what it feels like, but I've just been drinking a lot of fluids. They said that, you know, kind of helps with that. So my main thing so far is just fatigued I'm tired I could go take a nap right now I can go to bed for the night probably um, but I won't so that's kind of my reaction to this so far I don't know what's gonna happen you know in the next couple days but I'll continue to drink a lot of water and um, just rest really I'm not gonna do anything too much to uh, aggravate the symptoms but um, I'll let y'all know if anything else comes about and uh, my next one is in four weeks um, so um, I'll let them know how it went and then possibly I'll increase my dosage and we'll see how that goes so um, they had said my doctor didn't like it because I think uh, one of the patients had actually went on a higher dosage 
and um, infusion rate, <clears throat> and uh, they got flu-like symptoms after. Uh, the nurse didn't think that if you're going to get that after, you're probably going to get it after regardless. Like, it has nothing to do with the infusion rate. Um, she, th she thinks that if it's the infusion rate, you would feel it then. But anyway, she told me to let her know, and she'll call my doctor if um, I don't have any symptoms. So, we'll see. But anyway, so that's it so far. I'll let you know um, if there's anything else in the next couple days that happens. But, um, yeah, I don't, I'm glad I don't have any major symptoms. And the um, main thing is just tired, which I can lay down and rest. And um, that's it. So, see you next time.